Okay, okay, great. Now, uh, the first question that comes to mind, of course, why, why is it called the True 12 as opposed so, to just the 12? Wow, okay, okay. Now, maybe for those that aren't as familiar with the space, why is it so important to have tight communication between the inverter and the battery when you're talking about these, these iron phosphate and other lithium chemistries? Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from the RE Plus Southeast Solar Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. And this afternoon I'm joined by Geo from Fortress Power, and we're looking at the brand new Fortress Power NV True 12 inverter. So Geo, thank you for joining us this Absolutely. afternoon. Absolutely, my pleasure. Yeah, so uh, very exciting new inverter product here branded with Fortress Power. What, what can you tell us about the new NV True 12? So this is a hybrid inverter. So the, as name suggests, it's a 12 kilowatt inverter. It can be um, used and mounted indoors or outdoors. It can um, work with AC coupled systems and DC coupled solar systems. And it delivers 200 amps of pass through current. As you can see, um, it also has LCD color screen where you can do programming of the inverter. It also um, supports online monitoring platform, which is either web app where you can go to that web application using your computer, or you can uh, download applications for Android and uh, Apple devices to monitor your system from your mobile devices as well. Okay, okay, great. Now, uh, the first question that comes to mind, of course, why, why is it called the True 12 as opposed so, to just the 12? Um, we wanted to, so here's the thing. This battery can output 18 kilowatts of power simultaneously. 12 of those can go to the grid if you're grid selling or to your loads, AC loads, and the uh, six kilowatts can go to the batteries. We just want to highlight the true independent output of the AC current that this battery can do, for example, in off-grid scenario, where it can deliver 12 kilowatts to the AC loads. Awesome, awesome. Now, now you also said this is an AC and DC coupled battery. So does that mean that we can... AC coupled and DC coupled solar systems. Solar systems. Yes, so if you're retrofitting uh, existing AC coupled solar system, this inverter can be used. If you are installing DC coupled system or retrofitting existing DC coupled system, this inverter can be used as well. Can you do both? You can do both um, at the same time, but such instances are pretty rare. Okay, okay. And, and in terms of compatibility, because this, this is an inverter only, so we still have to pair it with a battery, what type of batteries can we pair with this? Is it, is it going to be only the Fortress line, or is it particular Fortress batteries? So, that as our warranty information suggests, um, this inverter is to be used with Fortress batteries or any other um, manufacturer, but their lead acid batteries need to be used. For, so okay. for lithium chemistries, only Fortress. Okay, and so I assume is it, there's some kind of a tight communication between yes. the inverter and the battery? That is itself. correct. So um, this inverter suppose, uh, supports uh, closed loop communication with uh, our 48 volt system batteries, so E-Flexes and E-Volt Maxes. And the inverter is also capable of communicating with other inverters. So you can have five of these inverters um, connected in parallel with communication. Wow, okay, okay. Now maybe for those that aren't as familiar with the space, why is it so important to have tight communication between the inverter and the battery when you're talking about these, these iron phosphate and other lithium chemistries? So uh, lithium batteries are very sensitive uh, to uh, current in their high and very low state of charge ranges. So you need to be able to, or the inverter needs to be able to know how much current to apply to the batteries let's say above 80% or below 20%. So that way the inverter can monitor the state of charge of the batteries and use those uh, pre-written protocols of charging. Okay. Now I know a lot of folks that are watching this or maybe your folks that are, that are off grid or they're planning on building off the grid. Uh, one of the things that you mentioned to me earlier was about a generator support. So does this system offer a generator integration? Yes, and it how, does. How does that work with the whole mix here? Yes. Yeah, so, um, this um, inverter has auxiliary AC port. That's where you would connect your generator or your AC coupled solar. And then you do the programming of the inverter 
telling it how you want to use that generator, at what battery percentage it's supposed to turn on the generator and so forth. This inverter does support um, the auto starter function of generators. That was going to be my next question. Yes. So is it for any, any two wire start generator, you can have it controlled by the unit yes, here? that is correct. And Great. also, uh, one more thing I want to mention to you, this inverter has built-in rapid shutdown device in it, which is um, used with the button on the side, and it also has a switch for PV input. Okay, cool. And um, wh which rapid shutdown then would you use on, on the rooftop side? Is there any particular device? or is it um, any, any? There is no particular device that you need to have to have this inverter, but um, yeah, the common ones, for example, um, Tygo is the one that comes to mind. So Tygo is one we hear yes. about a lot. I know yep. APS has one. Yeah, the Tygo can work easily on this. To the best of my knowledge, so can APS. Great, great. Uh, well, I know one question a lot of folks are going to have is, how much does it cost? Uh, I unfortunately don't know the price. I'm a sales engineer, but I would strongly suggest contacting our um, sales support team, and they will be able to provide the pricing. And, and is this something that you're selling directly to consumers, or do you, do you have it in distribution, or how does it, how does it typically work with a purchasing or That answer can be also obtained from the sales manager or a sales representative. Me being an engineer, I'm not familiar with those details. Okay, great, great. Okay, well, we'll make sure that we get a link down below if you'd like to go to the website or get in contact directly with Fortress Power so you can get more information on the product. I guess, Gio, is there anything else that, that the audience at the marketplace needs to know about the new Fortress NV True 12? That is awesome. That's all they need to know. <laughs> cool. Well, hey, thank you for spending some time Absolutely. with My Solar pleasure. Surge. Hey, folks, I think that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos that we publish on Solar Surge, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you, don't, uh, if you haven't already done so. You know, part of the things that we do is come to the conferences like this. So when there are new products coming out, we make sure that we can share that information so that you can stay up to date with everything that's going on in the space. Uh, and of course, as always, if you're in the process of looking at options for your home, if you need to get a quote or a comparison, you can always hit the link below and we'd be happy to chat and provide some options and some pricing for you. Well, Gio, is there anything else that comes to mind to share with the audience while we got them here? Secure your energy with Fortress Power. <laughs> Well, folks, there you have it. Until next time, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.